Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video I'll be showing you how I've done this look I'm wearing on right now and it's gonna be pretty much all about this beautiful red shade from Fenty Beauty. So it'll be interesting seeing how I've done and what I've used to achieve this simple, pretty much very simple look and just keep watching. So as my primer I'm gonna go ahead and use this the ordinary 100% cold pressed virgin Mara oil. Um, I have a really really dry skin especially during this weather when it's cold, windy, rainy, everything, it's just, my skin is just so, so dry. So I'm actually going with oil, heavy duty. Just gonna apply a couple of drops, really, three drops maybe. And that just goes as my primer. I'm barely touching my skin, look how red it gets, always. Oh, it's such a sensitive and redness prone skin is unbelievable like I'm just tapping I'm not rubbing it look what happens my skin just freaks so I just used three drops for my face I might just use a, a tiny drop just to put it on my forehead I'm just on so I'm just gonna let this all nicely sink into my skin and in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyes. I'm not gonna keep it, I'm not gonna really make anything complicated, just keep it really nice and simple. Um, I just really want all the attention on the lipstick, so there's not gonna be a lot going on. I'm gonna go ahead with my BH Studio, BH Cosmetics Studio Pro concealer and I'm just gonna prime my eyes first. I'm now just gonna go ahead and set my eyes with the uh, Bourjois Silk Edition powder. I've got like, rem this is just like remains of a look. Basically, I hit the pan on it and then I dropped it and it just broke. I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyes with this powder. It's nice and thin. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my Inglot J eyeliner in number 89, which is a brown eyeliner. What I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use the Shadow Shield as my guide for my eyeliner. And this is another reason why, if you're planning to use this Shadow Shield, if you ever, you know, if you, if you ever want to think about using Shadow Shields, I'd recommend to do your eye before you do your foundation because these guys have a really strong blue and will take off your foundation straight away. I'm gonna go and use the Inglot 31 Tip Eyeliner Brush and I'm gonna simply just do an eyeliner. It should be nice and easy with those shadow shields. I've done a really small, tiny line. It's not really harsh because I've used not a black. And I just because of the way my eyes are shaped and they're a bit wonky as well, I kind of just go only up to three quarters of my eye. I don't go all the way. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is my um, cut eye. So this is such a good discovery. I'm gonna go ahead and move on and use my foundation. So today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. I do look quite pale in the camera but I promise you I do not look as pale in real life. I am quite a pale person but bring this camera and the lighting is just not very good that's all I can say so I'm very sorry but I do not look so blue so white and 
camera like um, in real life as much as I do on the camera now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal again with my BH uh, Cosmetics Studio Pro Concealer you don't really need a lot of it it's quite a thick concealer just dust the job perfectly to set my under eyes I'm gonna go and use the bourgeois powder and to contour my potato face I'm gonna be using this Hollywood contour wand by Sharon Tilbury Unfortunately, such a small amount of product is only like 12 mil, um, and it is quite pricey, but it is a nice product. It is more on the warm side, and the shade I've got is in a shade. Uh, the shade I use it's made for the fair, fair and medium skin tones. As you can see, it looks a bit dark, but it does blend beautifully. do a bit of bronzing as well and I'm gonna go ahead with this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and this is how it looks like um, I know it looks a bit funny but this is like a sample I got you know well not a sample yeah it is like a smaller product I got in you know, a gift set so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Real Techniques um, like a powder brush and literally just a small dab and just use it on my cheeks my highlight I'm gonna be using this strobing kit from uh, Primark it's actually a really nice highlighters it's got it's got a really nice highlight and this one is like my favorite one look how nice and glowy it is so I'm gonna use the Zoeva Luxe fan brush and just gently apply that nice shade it's really not a lot I don't really want to be very bam in your face and I feel like actually my eyes might be missing something little something so I will go and use one of the um, like brown shades so this one is from Anastasia the very hills and it's the shade called fudge and just use this pencil brush, any pencil brush and literally just apply it a tiny bit on my lower lash line much better and I think the final step now we've got to apply our lipsticks so I'm gonna so to outline my lips I'm gonna use this MAC uh, Cherry Lip, La Lip Pencil Now that's done, I will just go now and use this beautiful lipstick. I know it is a very liquidy formula, so and, it, and the tip is really interesting. So mm, very pigmented. It looks a bit more orangey on the camera than it is. real life it is more to the true red now the pink red but it's not as warm as it is shown on the camera yeah so I haven't finished it actually I thought I finished I forgot about finishing my eyes oh this is such a disaster anyway um, I'm gonna go and use this um, XOB2 lashes in uh, um, style of the cheek 
they look like and so I'm just gonna go apply them and I'll be with you in a second. So now the lashes are on, I've also put some lower lash mascara and pretty much that completes the look and I hope you enjoyed this video, I know it's probably a bit all of the place in it so I'm sorry about that but I still hope it was enjoyable and I hope to see you in my next video so till then, take care!